Okay, I'm down here in my man cave, and uh, I'm just doing a little cannon. So this is Steve's rocking stew. And the way I do it, so what I'll do, this is a good example. Let me grab one of these. These are ready to go, waiting to go into our slow cooker, or I mean our pressure canner. So what we'll do is we'll put the venison chunks at the bottom, cut one inch cubes. My wife has this cool chopper and it chops the potatoes. I do them about one inch long and they're about quarter inch square. Put peas, carrots, and then onions. And the trick is, so I do it two ways. So this one here is just a water brine. And this will make like, this is good for like pouring on noodles and rice and stuff. But if you just want like a hearty stew, what I use is I make up a brine. I do two cups of water. I do one beer. And then I use a, it's a slow cooker. It's called Savory uh, Pot Roast. And this is a McCormick packet. And I pour that in there and I make the brine. Now I'm doing 10 quarts of stew. So um, you would have to double that recipe. That's only for five quarts. So what you do is once you mix it up, you're going to leave yourself one inch head space. And uh, you just have to, you don't have to sterilize the jars. You just have to have them washed clean. Uh, because we're using the pressure canner, it's going to kill everything that's in there. Uh, and basically what it's going to do is the pressure canner is going to cook everything in here and make you an awesome stew. So when you come home from work, you can just grab one of these, crack it open, put in a bowl, put in a microwave, just like a can of Campbell soup or Campbell's soup or stew, and you're ready to go. And uh, just an awesome recipe. So I, I was blessed. I was able to harvest a couple deer this morning. And uh, so I'm can't, I only am doing uh, 10 quarts right now because that's all the jars I had. But basically, you're going to run it in your pressure canner. Uh, once you get up the steam, you're going to run it for 90 minutes. And then you let it cool down and remove them. You want to let it sit for about 16 hours. And then check the seals on your cans, your jars. Make sure they sealed good. But uh, I put this little kitchen in downstairs in our basement because my wife didn't like me doing my deer processing upstairs. So I'm like, heck, I'm going to put a kitchen in my basement. So uh, I did. Anyways, it's kind of what I need to do. And then I got out all my other deer processing stuff. Um, salami, a uh, hunter sausage. Uh, I just, just bought a, uh, this is uh, bratwurst. So I'm going to, over the next couple days, I'm going to be working on these. I mean, what these kits, they come with a cure and the seasoning. So pretty much what you do is you're going to mix up the meat with uh, spices and the seasoning you put in the fridge for 24 hours and then you follow the instructions and you put it in the um, casings or whatever but anyways that's just some of the other stuff i'm going to be doing here on these deer but uh anyways i just thought i'd show you this cool recipe if you guys want to make a cool stew you know our freezer is pretty full and i thought well it'd be good to have some stuff in our pantry that's not reliant on the freezer so because if uh we had a SHT situation, uh, at least we'd have some uh, food that's not reliant on, um, on electricity. All right, this is Steve signing off.